Hey, this is Massimo and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, previews. So as mentioned in a previous video, QSC Plus version 5 has four different previews where the 3D view is the most complete and universe view is the basic one. DMX view and 2D view is basically what uh, was present also in version 4 but with some improvements. So if I add a basic fixture to um, the universe view the only thing I get is where the fixture is mapped so on which DMX address and how many channels it has so the only thing I can do is uh, I, I can move it around and uh, if I mistaken the universe I can also sort of cut and paste uh, the fixture to another universe but uh, I don't have any other information apart from this. If I switch to the DMX view, this is basically what we had in version 4 and we used as a DMX monitor. So the values below are actually the DMX values currently sent by QSC+. Um, in this view, I can as well um, drag and drop a fixture like this. And again, I have the only the indication of the channels used by the fixtures and the DMX values. In this view, I have a couple of um, options that I can enable. I can show the DMX addresses of each fixture and I can show them as relative addresses and not absolute uh, in like this. The fun part though uh, comes with the 2D view. Now, as you can see, um, the fixture I've added are, are all at the origin point because QSC Plus doesn't know where to put them since there's no um, space coordinates in the other views. So in the 2D view, I have two coordinates, actually. But basically, each fixture is saved in three coordinates since I have a 3D preview. Um, in, in the 2D view, I can move them around depending on um, a new feature that I've introduced in uh, version 5. Basically, I've added the point of view and by default, the 2D view is set to top view. So this is basically the top view of your, let's say, stage of your environment. And now and here you can decide uh, the dimension of the, of the stage, basically. And the height if you change it in from top view, you cannot see any difference because it's top view. But if I switch to front view, for example, I have three meters high and I can change it from here. Uh, again, the fixtures are, are still on uh, a zero coordinate since I've added from uh, a non-visual um, context, preview context. So let's add some height and let's go back to um, top view. Um, if I want to add multiple fixtures here, for example, a few of these, they will uh, be uh, placed like this uh, automatically. Uh, so in the 2D view, they will never overlap. Uh, I can select them all in as a rectangular selection and I can drag them around as a group all together but I can also uh, but I also have some helpers when I select the fixtures uh, some alignment helpers so if I do something like I my fixtures are here and I'm not very precise when I drag them on purpose so if I do something like this and I select them, I can align them and also give them uh, equal spacing, um, horizontal spacing or vertical spacing, depending on uh, which layout you are, you are doing. Here you can also rotate the fixtures, uh, again, individually or as a group. The gel color parameter is something specific for dimmers. So let's have a look uh, what uh, it means so I will add like uh, four dimmers for example and um, if I select them I can assign um, a gel a gelatin basically 
Now, since dimmers have, uh, by default, uh, they start from zero, um, I cannot have, I cannot see any effect when I select the gel color. But if I raise the the dimmer value, I can see that the gel color has been applied correctly, like this. So for the 2D view is basically it. There is also a custom background selection where you can apply an image to the background of your stage. For example, if you have a stage plan or something you have to copy or a background, a realistic background of your stage. But now let's switch to the 3D view. Um, as you can see, uh, I moved around some fixtures. For example, the first two I've added I've moved them also in the um, front view, so they, they are uh, higher. And all the others are at the same level, basically. And my uh, pars are already uh, emitting some lights. If I move them, you can have the, the new projection in real time. The 3D view has many more options. You can control the rendering parameters like uh, the quality, ambient light is something to have a more realistic preview. For example, um, in this way, you can highlight the, the beams. You can adjust the smoke amount in the environment. Obviously, this is a theoretical parameter for now because smoke is not simulated. Um, it's just a way to... Um, to tell how strong uh, beams are in the environment, basically. Oops. So let's go back to 80. Um, I can drag fixtures with the mouse or like this, or I can um, select exact position for, uh, uh, for a fixture. now I will stick them there um, there's also rotation on three axes so if I rotate the fixture it will um, rotate where I need and I can also select the sharp is down here and I can move them around Something else that I can control in this view is the dimension of the stage. So again, I can adjust the measurements. Again, the height is not, I cannot have the feeling of changing the height. And then I, I explain it a minute and I can uh, change the depth. So the big news also of the 3D view is that it comes with a few presets, look and feel presets which are basically helper if you doesn't want to again feel the scene from scratch every time. So the, the very basic preset is simple ground. So where I have only the stage ground, but I can also have a simple box. So it's basically a sort of room with three walls, but I also have a rock stage, which looks like this. And the fun thing to notice is that trusses are resized depending on the stage size. So if I enlarge the, the stage, trusses are calculated in groups of uh, two meters each, I think, if I remember correctly. And, um, and also the height can be changed. And now I have the feeling of changing the height here and also the depth and it will resize accordingly. Um, I also have a theater stage preset where basically you have the main elements of a theatrical environment that you can use. You can add more things. You cannot remove things from this preset, but you can add more. So let's stick to the rock stage for now. And in the 3D preview, I can also add uh, custom items QLC Plus comes with some bundled items, for example, uh, trusses in various forms or generic uh, geometric items. So let's start to add a cube, for example. I will select this one. Uh, I can also scale 
external objects like this and I can move it around like before and the and the cube will be perfectly integrated in the scene uh, like this because um, beams actually cast shadows so if you add um, custom items that you have uh, they will be affected by by the light like this so uh, for this video i think it is all thanks for watching and ciao